I'm Dr. Lisa Goins, nurse practitioner with Couture Healthcare. And a lot of times people are like, um, you know, I ask them, I say, what's your pain level? And the pain level here is real simple. I go from zero, which is normal, that means no pain. Five, I'm in pain, I take something. And 10 here at Couture Healthcare, we're a family practice. If you're in that much pain, then I need to call 911 and we'll get you someplace where you can get the kind of pain relief that you need. Um, we're not in urgent care, so we don't have that kind of medicine or anything outside. Now, here's the other thing. If you are in pain and you're in level 5, what could you take? There's a lot of things over the market, um, over the counter, OTC is what it's called. And those medicines can be things like Tylenol and Motrin, Aleve, Nasets, things like that. Um, and then you've got to be careful how you take them. Um, some of the requirements have changed. Now, on Tylenol, um, it has changed to 4 grams to 3 grams that you can take. So that's very important. Um, we're seeing a lot of people not realizing that Tylenol is being mixed with other medications. So they take that medicine, then they take some Tylenol, take something else that has Tylenol in it, and the next thing they know they're having liver problems because it's too much Tylenol in the system. So do uh, read the labels on the back and make sure that you're not taking a medication that has Tylenol with it and then taking some Tylenol. So do be careful about that. So basically you want to take 320 25 milligrams, which is a standard Tylenol. You can take two of those, and then you can take that up to three times a day would be your limit now, not four, three. So every eight hours you could take um, some Tylenol if you needed to take it around the clock for arthritis. And then there's specially medicated um, design of uh, Tylenol for arthritis where it's not two pills, it's one pill and it's uh, the 650, which would be the two generic. So do be careful on the amounts that you're taking that you don't overdo it on the Tylenol because it can cause um, liver failure. And unfortunately, um, not a lot of people um, donating the livers. Um, if you want to be a donor, um, then you want to put that on your license to be a life donor, and I do encourage that. Um, my whole family uh, is donors. Hopefully, um, I'm not going to get them until I'm like 100, but you know, if you can find something when I'm 100, excellent. So, But anyway, um, you can take Tylenol, Motrin, Aleve, and then you want to follow the directions. Um, each different one is four to six hours to eight hours in between taking the medicine. Some you can take one or two, and then you're only allowed so many per day. So do make sure you're following that correctly, and that's for a five out of ten for pain. That's when you want to take something. Okay, my name is Dr. Lisa Goins, nurse practitioner, and thank you for watching this video.